are you getting done? Well, we're just, uh, you know, game planning, uh, you know, watching tape from, uh, you know, for, for, for our opponents. And, uh, and really, that, you know, that's, that, that, that's really kind of the, the big, big thing that we're doing right now. That and, and you know, still trying to, you know, you know, uh, you know recruit and uh, stay on top of, of uh, you know, of the, of the kids that we, you know, that, we, that, are, that, are, that we're trying to recruit for this upcoming season. You know, Coach Tom Dorado's with us. I'm going to let Tom ask a question here after this one. But along the lines of recruiting, and, and these kids are out of school right now. Most schools aren't meeting. So, uh, you know, whether it's social media or the kids call you, you have a chance to talk to them. But I was just going to ask this individually because I do talk to a lot of recruits. And the thing that I hear from the offensive line recruits, and I congratulate you on this because sometimes I have to learn how to relate with younger people these days, but you seem to have a knack for that. I mean, the kids I talk to that you're recruiting say, yeah, I love Coach Dickey, man. He's he's one of my favorites, and we have a great connection. And and so you've got kind of a gift there. I guess part of that is being a parent and with your own kids. But uh, talk about making that connection with younger people because you seem to have a really good um, grasp of that. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I hope so. I mean, I, I, you know, I just, I, I, I thank God for, 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 for allowing me to be able to, you know, to be able to talk to these young people and, you know, and just, you know, it's all about just trying to, you know, build relationships and, and treat people with respect and, 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 and just, you know, just trying to get to know them, you know, and, and trying to get to know them, their families and, you know, what they like and, and, and just hopefully, you know, you know, I, I, you know, be real with them and, and just, you know, and, and, and just, you know, be who I am, you know, and hopefully they, they like it, you know, and, and some, 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 some guys, I'll be honest, some, they, they may not like it, you know, but some, some, some of the young guys will, will do like it. So, so I'm grateful for that, you know, and I'm grateful that, uh, that, you know, hopefully to those, to the guys that you're talking to, the, well, we can translate that into to, to getting them here too. <laughs> yeah. Tom? Yeah, Coach, uh, I can look back to the caveman days when I began my coaching career at Lucky High School in Manhattan, moved over to Manhattan to the Indians back in the day. Uh, and, and and I remember, because Ma- Manhattan's kind of a tight community, as you well know. You were there for a number of years. Uh, yes, sir. And, and I still have contacts there and, and kind of call that my second school. But the fact is, you were a community guy in Manhattan, and, and it's kind of like Stillwater, you know. People know who you are when you walk down the street. People know who you are when you go to the Kiwanis and you go to the church. Uh, that has to help, doesn't it, when you're trying to relate to the people you're recruiting? Well, yeah, I hope so, yeah. I mean, you know, you just you want to – you hopefully, hopefully can relate to, to the, yeah, the, the people that you are recruiting. And I think, I think it's important that, uh, that they – you know, I think, I think the community, everything is, is so important to, 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 to that part of recruiting. And uh, – um, yeah, I, I think I think that does help. You know, let, I had a question about, you know, we talked about coaches and having gotten out of the coaching business and gotten into this side, I, I try to tell my contemporaries, there was a time and not too long ago where most people didn't even know who the assistant coaches were, much less have them on the radio or have them in a press conference. You know, all you, right. all you knew was the head coach, right? And, and maybe a coordinator, maybe. But now anybody on the seventh street could tell you the whole roster makeup of Oklahoma State's coaches. That has changed considerably in the last ten or fifteen years, and you got to be—I guess that's something you have to adapt to as well, right? Yeah, you're you're right. I mean, just just everybody knows who you are, you know, and, and, and the social media part of it, and you know, all all the all that goes with it. You know, there's there's the good and the bad, you know, and. and so you, you just you, you just you just try to work through it the best you can, and 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 make 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 the best good out of it as you possibly can. Coach Charlie Dickey with us, Cowboys offensive line coach, and only three days of spring football before uh, we all ended up, uh, you know, quarantining and social distancing and all of that. Uh, but in those three days, I, I had a chance to to be around and watch your drills and and watch the practices. And the thing that I noticed was it it just seemed like there wasn't much um, 
you know, wasn't much change from the bowl practices. You bring back all those guys. I know Johnny Wilson and, and Marcus Keyes were two valuable cogs, but you insert Josh Sills, who's a very veteran kid from West Virginia as a grad transfer. And then Rice Schneider had played a lot. Bryce Bray had played a lot. Hunter Anthony played some and started a few games. So you have a number of guys with starting experience, plus the younger guys have progressed right. a year. It just seemed like, Coach, your guys were in step is the best way to describe it. Yeah, I was really, uh, you know, it was, it was, it was sad to, to, to stop practicing. I was really, uh, I was excited to get back this week and, and and start coaching the guys again because they really, you know, they had a great winter. Not, and not just them, the whole team. But I mean, I'm just we're just talking about my guys. So right now, so but I mean, I thought they had a really good winter and worked really hard and and um, and they were, you know, they were they were. I, I was really excited about about the direction that they were going, you know. And and uh, you're, you're right. I, I got a lot of good young guys that that they and some of them played a lot and. And so I'm, 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 I'm really excited about the group. I don't think there was any doubt Johnny Wilson kind of was the leader of the pack last year. I mean, yeah, he just seemed to, to – yeah, and it makes natural uh, sense that uh, the center, because he makes a lot of the calls. As you see this group, and I know you only had three practices, but has, has the leadership started to take hold, the player leadership with this group? and? And who's kind of filling that Johnny Wilson role? Well, I mean, um, I, yeah, I, I think uh, I'm seeing. I'm seeing I, what I'm really enjoy, enjoying about this group is they're all they're all taking ownership in in, in the group. And so um, I know Rye Snyder's really trying hard. I, I see. I see even Tevin Jenkins is trying trying hard to 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 to, to be a you know trying to make roads and being a leader out there um you know um I, I just see guys stepping up and and trying to you know we talk about setting the standard and trying to set the standard you know and uh and that's that's what we're trying to do we're just we're just trying to get a bunch of guys to buy in and and, and set the standard and and uh and, and for for their group and for the rest of the team and i and i see guys buying in to do that i would think i've heard this said many times i mean if you're going to if you want to coach, you can't let your feelings, you know, if you, if your feelings get hurt or easily, you probably need to go do something else. Uh, and yeah, I wondered, sure. I wondered as a, as a veteran coach, especially on the offensive line, and I've known a lot of offensive linemen over the decades. I mean, that's a, that's a private fraternity, so to speak, because nobody really knows what you're doing out there until you turn somebody loose or you miss a block or you only rush for 10 yards and then all of a sudden the, the, everybody's an expert on the offensive line. But do you preach that right. to you young guys? Hey, I mean, hey, you're not going to make every block. You're not going to get a hat on everybody, but you got to come back and get the next play. Make that work. Yeah, we, I mean, I always, I always talk about, you know, trying to, you know, you know you, who you are as a person, as a man, as, as just who you are in terms of how you deal with adversity, right? And And just being able to, to move on and, and 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 learn from your mistakes, but 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 you got to continue to move on. You got to be able to you got to you got to be able to handle handle the good and the bad, and 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 that's part of it, you know. And and um, you know, and, and that's that's kind of what we, you know, we just try to preach that every day, and uh, and just have that mental toughness of being able to, you know, having the mental toughness to 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 to, to not get too high or too low, and just 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 to keep going and just trying to get better every day. And that's, that's what we're trying to, we're just trying to get better every day. And, and that's, 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 that's our goal, you know? And, and then, um, and yeah, I, I, that, that we really do. We try to spend a lot of time on that, just making sure that guys, uh, cause this, 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 this profession, this, 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 this you'll get humble really quick. If you get too big headed, that's for sure. <laughs> you know, and think that, you know, and so, so, so we just, you know, we're just trying to, Trying to get better and, and 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 trying to handle trying to handle trying to handle all that all the all the the good and the bad you know that's that's the key thing. Well, coach, we'll uh, we'll we'll let you get here, but I'll I'll finish it with this question because I think it, it it's it's a huge impact, and I think people look at when Chuba Hubbard says he's coming back and Tylen Wallace say they're coming back, uh, everybody gets excited, but. I got to think those guys that, that 
get a lot of their satisfaction from seeing Chuba lead the nation in rushing and and from, you know, uh, the quarterback being able to deliver a big play to Tylen Wallace, that that kind of that's a that's a call to arms for those guys that hey, we got these kind of guys, we need to maximize ourselves because if we do, we got a chance to do something really special. Yeah, I think I think um, I think the whole group sees that. I think the team sees that, and uh, you know, obviously, I, you know, I, 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 I know the line sees that. So, so you know, we're we're excited, excited about this group, and and uh, looking forward to getting this season back back going again. Well, coach, we appreciate your time, and again, uh, look forward to when we when you can get back together with those guys. And I, I you know, what the funny thing is with all those veterans. I think about guys like, uh, you know, like Eli Russ, uh, who just came in, and 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 some of the guys that came in uh, last year as freshmen, and you know, right. uh, Maturko and those guys that you know are going to get better, and this spring was going to be so important for them. So I look forward when you get all the whole group back together and and uh, and keep working on setting that standard. Yes, sir. That's exactly right. Me too. I'll be I'll be excited too. I, I appreciate it, Robert. Thank you. Hey, Coach. Thank you for your time, and we appreciate it, Coach Charlie Dickey, Cowboys offensive line coach, and uh, we appreciate Coach Gundy. Uh, you know, saying, "Hey, yeah, let's let's stay engaged with this."